Good evening and welcome back to the Barrow AFC career mode. We are on episode, what, five or six? Honestly, can't remember. Probably probably a bit higher, actually, maybe like six or seven. Uh, we are playing in League One. Let's go. Let's take a look at the standings. Let's take a look at where we are. This is the uh, first time in a while that we're doing some career mode recording and streaming at the same time. We're sitting in 18th. Sitting in 18th in the league, but only two points clear of the relegation zone there. So that's not that's not great. Burton only a few points above us, a few places above us, two points above us. So we do need, well, basically every game is going to be an important game. But we do need to start getting some, uh, getting some good results. Let's go in. Let's go straight in. No hanging about into the game. It's raining, right. Hello everyone. You know, some football Bit of rain, not too bad. I, I don't know if I perform better or not with, uh, with the rain. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch. A glorious chance. Well, that's not a good start. <laughs> Centre by getting dragged out wide. Really bad positioning on my part. Josh K. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Oh, my word. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, let's analyze the table. And for Rotherham United, a story of performances below expectations. How is that a foul? Well, Come on. Season they're having, I really thought they would be challenging for the title. There just seems to Good be work for Fana winning it back. It wasn't a foul anyway, so... To change quickly. See some progress with the ball at his feet. Crossing opportunity. Decent position. Oh, could there we go. Robbie Gotts, instant game. response. Exhilarating. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So good tackle. Here on the back of that leveller. Good work. Is there a pass inside? Let's come to. <laughs> what a goal! What the heck? So the pass in for. Oh, it's not going to show the replay. The pass in from Gordon wasn't. I won't lie, it was not aimed for Robbie Gotts. But I put a little bit of extra power in or something, I guess, and it just it flew into him. And then when I realised that the pass was going into him like that, I was then like, I've got to shoot first time. So I just hit circle, hoping. And it worked. And they need to get tighter here. A fine reading of the situation. Terry Taylor. Almost at half time, it's going the way of the visitors as things stand. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Well, it's been a good watch so far. Both sides have tried to play on the front foot, but big chance! Come on! Turning it on! Turning it on in this game against Burton away from home. A great bit of play, great pass from Fafana. Turn, great bit of play. Miller puts it home. Miller doesn't score many. I've actually been a little bit, you know, unimpressed with Miller. He's not, he's not been the best. Want it back again. Let's go. Push him forward. Oh, that's unlucky. That's going straight off. That'd be a goal kick. Sweet. Well, he nearly caught the keeper out there. That was a really good attempt. Fofana. 
That's good play. Ah, oh, it's a heavy touch. Well defended, I suppose, as well. And we'll go into half time leading. Hell yeah. Come on. Really good half of football, except for the first first attack from Burton, where my, I think, would have been Mac, just got dragged out of position. Left a lot of space open. Oh, come on, that was a pretty easy pass. Now potential danger. That should be fine. Yeah, good. Play it relatively quickly. Okay. Okay, got that out of danger there. There's a pass in the middle there. Can he finish this? Oh, that might have been loud. I apologise. Come on, what a pass. That pass in the middle. Really, really good. I think it's probably because... Uh, one of, oh my lord, this hair in my eyes. Uh, one of the centre-backs came up to pressure, like maybe on the halfway line. And he just left a lot of open space in behind. And Robbie got... I think that, I think that was Robbie got's hat-trick, actually. Great work, Cruzy. And it will be a throw in. Nice looking pass. And just Offside, lovely. 4 1. This is uh it's probably the the strongest performance we have put out this year. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Borthwick Jackson. Well, something has happened at one of the other venues. Let's get the up-to-date news from Alex. Yes, it was a penalty for Portsmouth, and I think he'd be counting his blessings because it's gone off the post and it's gone in. They are now great still. With 66 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, and the referee sees right, that the can come off. That's fine. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Borthwick Jackson. On to Hernandez. Really good interception. Miller. Might be Great play. Here we go. Could be a chance to break here. Well, that should be fine, actually. Yeah, nice. Only five minutes to go. That easily could have been 5-1. It was a penalty for Wigan Athletic. The goalkeeper will be kicking himself. He managed to get a touch, but couldn't stop it going in. That's incredible play. That should be five. And it is five. Come on. Josh Gordon makes it five. 1-0 down well, to 5-1 up and Ollie Sutton can now come on. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Come on. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. So two minutes to be added on at the end. And with that, the attack fizzles out. That's the game. 5 1. That's a huge win. Robbie Gotts gets a hat trick. You're absolutely right. That is an incredible win. And so the match. 5 1. Look at that. Robbie Gotts. Jamie Miller getting on the score sheet as well as Josh Gordon as well with a fifth. Seven shots. Five goals. That's crazy. That's worth a post match interview. That is. for you. 
surprised it was a breathtaking display it really was very comfortable I'm a bit surprised but yeah it's mostly because the attack just was on fire a lot of positives is there a problem no uh, we just got competition for places Fofana and Jamie Miller are the, the first teamers but to be fair Tom White last episode the DMs were not impressing so maybe Tom White does deserve a, a shout that's good Kieran Cruz is happy I like that up to 15th come on oh but we got Derby next and Derby are doing pretty well on 30 points let's keep going that's another training day that's fine advance again and here we are at the match okay so first team I, do I want to change anything after that game I don't think I want to change anything because that was a that was a performance and a half. I don't think it's necessary to change anything. A hat trick in his last game. Can he continue that red hot form? Stay with us on EA TV. And for a live oh, more rain. Maybe it's the rain. Maybe it's the rain. Sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And all about action from League One coming right up. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two it should be our boy, it is. Some interesting matchups and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And winning it back. And it's with Robinson. Oh, a nice looking pass. Good save. And the keeper more than equal to it. Good save. And the short option preferred. Robinson. Oh, that was risky. That was really risky. It's with Fofana. Robbie Gotts couldn't keep it. Oh my word, Josh K. Josh K just tackled Josh Gordon. Lang. And given away. Well stolen. Moving the ball forward with purpose. But as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season, highly competitive, especially at the summit. Well, what a great title race this looks like, Ben. Yes, there's a long way to go. Must be. Wow. My defenders really, uh, really let that one through there. Like, oh, he got tripped. Grayson got tripped by another attacker. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. And moving the ball nicely. But a shocking pass, really. Josh Kay is not having the best game so far. Knight. Jason Knight. Oh, surely. Well, the finish is a really good run now. Derby are. Uh, they will be playing much better, and uh, Josh K is not playing well. I might have to sub him off if he makes another obvious mistake. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Now he must favour the cross. We'll take a corner. We'll take a corner. So deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. 
It's a good ball in. Oh my word, how? He's missed. He's just missed. How has he missed? Come on, Gordon. That is awful. Well, as you can see, the hosts have controlled the possession. And as a result of dominated the game, some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch. And I don't think anything's going to change that. Ah, defenders are way quicker than they should be. And given away. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Firing it in. Ah. I got desperate. I thought the time was going to run out. 2 0. Well, that's a nice kit. I like this Derby County kit. Okay, we start with the ball. Let's go. So back underway here into the second half. <laughs> like lose the ball, make no effort to get up and get it back. Can he find the right pass? Able to get a body in the way. That's a foul. What is that? He didn't even go for a header. He just. Like body slammed nice. Robbie Gods. Oh, come off he it. Of what is that? That's so rubbish. Needs to clear it away. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Message for Xavier Vicente. Troubling here from Spain. Gordon. Xavier, can you please go back and meet the rest of the party? <laughs> I genuinely thought the stadium announcer was going to be, can you please go back to Spain? I was going to be like, what? <laughs> so the corner played into the box. And the problem not completely solved. Well done, got the ball back. That's fine. And back with Miller now. Yeah, that's good. Robbie Gotts. Will he find the net? You gotta stay on side, Gordon. Yeah, Gordon's off as well. Fine. Hey, a viewer and a follow. Nice. Thank you very much. To 18 on the old Twitch followers now. That's nice. Oh, come on. Let's get back. No, hey, off. Oh. What, what am I defender doing? What a foul? What? What? Corey Smith. Baston. Take that. Yep. Good tackle, but it should have gone to one of my players. Can he finish? Instead, he went straight back to that. Get that on. Oh, come on. Kieran Cruz, off he goes. Keeping track of the uh, England versus Ireland um, cricket match that has just started today. In uh, in London at Lords. Go on, you got to get close. Don't let him. Oh, okay, fine. Saved it. Saved it. Whoa. Gonna be a short corner, I know it. Playing it short. No, I'll let him go past me. Oh no. Good save. Oh. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. That should be Okay, we don't have a lot of time. We're going ultra attacking. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches, and Alex Scott can fill us in. Yes, it was a penalty for Cheltenham Town, and it only went I... to hit no. the ball, but it went in. It's now 2-1 with 76 Hoy. minutes. How has he kept that? Alex with the info as ever. Can he get one back? It's a good shot, but... Oh, the keeper... Oh, the keeper. When all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. I think I think Ben Whitfield fouled the keeper, which that time I actually agree. That's fair enough. That was a foul. Team press, please. Let's go. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Tripic. Oh no, he's turned me. And that pass could be troublesome. And the keeper's in trouble. That is very bad keeping. Just dive. Like, let's, let's, let's watch this bit of bad keeping. What is this? Just. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yeah, 3 0, and that will have to be. will have to be a loss. And the referee has deemed that an 
additional four minutes are in order. Here's four minutes? Play. Where the hell has four minutes come from? And it's come off the keeper. What the hell? <laughs> Where has four minutes come from? Please. Four nil, damn. Riding high after that first game of the of the of the episode. Well done, Whitfield. Can we can we salvage a goal here? And it's played into the center, putting them under the court. That's a corner. They had to react. Oh no. Well to be and fair, seven minutes. Yeah, fine. Visitors, fine. Fair and enough. And it's with Robinson. And the keeper more than equal to it. Must be. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Jason Knight. Sweet. Okay, let's move on. Just had to deal with something in the chat there. And let's advance through. So, yeah, it was a bad loss, to be fair. Oh, no, next up, Rotherham, who are also up there. Third place, I think they might be. Second place, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure, but they are. They are up there, so it's going to be another tough game. Hopefully, not a four nil. That would not be great. Sebastian Halle has gone to Forest. Wow. I think I knew that actually. Like not in real life, just here. It's a youth academy. Sorry, Clark. And the monthly scouting report. I'm sorry, Heath. Not happening. Owen Sanders, yep. And maybe Faulkner, but we have to check the Youth Academy. No, not the Squad Hub. Yeah, that's not bad. 52, but the potential is quite bad. That's not great. We're going to get rid of Faulkner. There's no need to keep him in. And let's have a quick look at how we're doing on the profit. 1.57. Maybe we get to January, we might be able to up that a little bit. Okay, we're going to have a change up because we're going to need to after that game so let's bring out Fofana for white Patrick Broff can come in let's try for you know what I'm actually willing to try Feely in in the center back role starting in the center back role that wouldn't be a bad idea and let's get into the game last game of the episode our cameras on one man Three goals in his last three matches, and you can't argue with We shall see of how uh, we'll have the action on EA TV. see how we go after two crazy games. One with a one with a good a good well, result, and then one with a not so good result. Football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside. Wow, is that is they giving away a corner first up? They have. Oh my word. What is that about? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff. Oh, straight to the keeper from that header. It would have been mad if Feely comes in to centre back. First corner, two minutes in. What a chance that was to take the lead. 
but you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. And players waiting in the centre. Real chance. Save, but still a chance. And oh, my word. Second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? He's going forward well here. Top class defending. This is for Jay Cheetham. Hello, Jay. Celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. Ferguson. Well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other matches. With the details, here's Alex. Yeah, Exeter City were awarded the penalty, and he only went and pulled out the Penenka on us. A fan favourite. It's now one. Ah, oh, come on, that pass has got to get through. The update, Alex. Wesley Harding. Joshua Coyote. Oh, a nice looking pass. And a goal it is. The great. Really not part of the great, great, great. Getting the, getting the sweat out already from, from Barrow. So not Barrow. Rotherham. Well done, Ben. How easy it was for them to... Oh, my word! Robbie Gotts, man. Show us, the visitors have had most of the plate and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Tom White. Robbie Gotts. That's a good pass. That's an okay pass. Oh, surely. And able to close down the shot. Oh, ah. Challenge. <sighs> Oh, come on, that wasn't... Didn't need to, like, fizz it like that. Could have just played it into the gap. That should be mine. It is mine. Nice. Well, they've struggled in this first half. They've been outfall, outplayed, and outrun. They need to improve all aspects of their play in the second half if they're to get back in this one. Just one minute of stoppage time. Say the Go on, Robbie. Now, this could really lift oh, no. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Threat over for now, it seems. Come on. Now, the managers will now deliver their half time team. That would have been a little lifeline. It's really good work from Robbie Gotts. Just sprint, well, put, put the pace on. Again. Interesting to see how the second half pans out. Keeper had plenty to think about with bodies. Trying to get a shot away. I definitely I can. I know I can get a goal here. Changed in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the news. Yeah, it's a goal for Derby County. The scores level again now at 1 1 with 53 minutes played. Go on, Robbie. Alex. Can they convert? Well, not the pass he had in mind. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. This guy blocking me off. Can you go away, please? Filthy play. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Oh, horrible injury to his shoulder there. Landed right on top of it. Sore, but he's tough. I think he'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. Crossing opportunity. Okay. Okay, that's two fouls. Two horribly, needlessly hard fouls on Josh Gordon. And it leads to a goal. No, that's incredible. 
That's incredible. That's um, that's not on. That's not on. Oh my word. Okay, send him off, please, because that's an awful tackle. Really vital interception here. Connor Washington. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Real chance. A lovely Good save. Oh, I'm sick of these the League One players, players thinking they can score easy chips. Like, come on. So making the substitution now. Come on, get us, get us out. What a terrible clear! That's an auto clearance, and they just did that. Joshua Coyote. And still, they wait for the chance. Superbly read and executed. Well, they've given him too much space. There's no one to pass to. <laughs> Robbie Gotts. Firing it in. Not closed down straight away. Just no well, movement. Not, 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 not enough movement. I don't, I don't really... There wasn't a foul, but... 3-0. The much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, oh dear, Derek, that and the first goal play. is the worst one to concede because that starts it so off. Oh, terrible bit of play. Grayson. I'm sorry, bud. Grayson has been pretty bad. Ah, oh, can't believe that first game. That was insane. Crazy first performance. Yeah, I can't keep a clean sheet to save my life. <laughs> Garner wants to play more. You know what? That's fine. We're going to bring Garner in on the wing, I think. And there we go. Actually, what I might do is tuck them in like that. Like, really, really overload that kind of central area with strikers. Just crazy overload it. Make it so that all of our attack is, like, going direct. Because sometimes I find that I just don't have the people to pass to. Which is obviously not what I want. I think next game must be a cup game. Yeah, it is. And that'll be a simmed game if it's the Papa John's, which I think it will be. And then in the league game as well. It is Papa John's, so we're gonna skip the pre match and go into the go into the sim. And let's see how we do. I think if we win this game, we progress to the knockouts. And a throw in it's going to be. And players waiting in the center. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Well, great read there to intercept. Campbell with it. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Oh, he's oh, missed. Wow. I think that was a chance. Well, they should be off to a fly here. And that was a poor effort. He must hit the target. Gilby. Dobson. Crossing possibilities. And a goal. No. Now they've broken through. 1-0 One 1 here. 1-0. We just need... Just now, I don't even know if we need a draw. Like, if we win, I think we are through no matter what. Because um, I think it was Gillingham. I'm not. I can't exactly remember. Blackett Taylor. I'm disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. 
Illegal play, and hence a free kick. No. Mess up and a simple pass. That's good, driven away. No, that's open. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Gordon. Getting the ball forward. He has time to play it over. And it might be. Ah. Corner ball. Okay, that's fine. Trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. And that goes into half time. So back underway here. Can they keep it on Ultra Ray for a little bit just to see if we can grab a goal back? That that's what I mean. Like that is some shoddy play. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's in. Fofana scores it. Wow. One all. So the ball is rolling again. I thought it was an ultra. I think it was an ultra D. That's we scored a goal on ultra D when I thought we. <laughs> oh, that's a good ball. Oh, he's offside. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, he's just got to be more patient there. He's gone too early. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Sutton. Yep. Still yeah, not the bad, not bad. See them forge ahead. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Oh, well, it could be on for him here. Oh, nope. 2-1, yep. And a goal! Just okay, we're just going to go with Trey now to the rest of the game. And get into the team management now, actually. So let's just bring on players by fitness players <laughs> newbie can go in for gots in the dying embers will it prove decisive here strength and control a big part of his game can he put it away good save let's go let's go let's go oh come on can't even string a pass right now Terrell thomas yeah, there we go. Yeah, good, good. Game. No, why are you playing the risky pass? Five minutes to find a goal. There, yeah. Come on. Come on. Uh, I'm not sure if that means we're through or not. Because it depends on... That will depend on goal difference, I imagine. So let's quickly check that in the standings, actually. Pick competition, Papa John's. We're through! Wow, okay. So I need to check the So why So everything is exactly equal. We both lost 2-1 to Gillingham. So would it go I think it would go on count back. And on count back we both lost our first games. 2-1 so it would have to be like you know go fully old school it would have to be a coin toss like genuinely like it would have to be or like something like that there's no other way to separate but there we go we're through into the knockout rounds of the Papa John's and we're going to quickly just take a look at the table as we finish up the episode so in 18th again, we got a win first game and then two losses against, well to be fair, the thing is, the loss against Derby and the loss against Rotherham, Rotherham <clears throat> they're both really high up on the rankings right now, they're three and four. We got spanked by Portsmouth as well, and we just got a draw against Charlton in the cup, that's interesting, but the teams we lost to today are the teams that are going to be competitive in the league whereas we are at the minute trying to finish 
basically I would say 12th and 18th between there. The higher the better, obviously. But the teams we got beat by are competing for promotion. So I can't really be complaining. But yeah, there we go. That'll be it for today, for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I shall catch you next time.